Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Let's start taking attendance real quick. Welcome. Adriano Maria Santos Sardón. Present. Thank you. Aileen Odalis Martinez Monterroso. Not present. Ana Lidia Hernández Pérez. Not present. Ana Silvia Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Ana Victoria Ramirez de Reyes. Not present. Andrea Esmeralda Revalo Campos. Present. Thank you. Axel Onise Martinez Parada. Present. Thank you. Brenda Michelle Mejia Serrano. Not present. Carlos José Blanco de León. Present. Thank you. Oh, I also have Ana Lidia también presente. Okay, thank you, Ana Lidia. Carolina Elizabeth Hernández Amaya. Present. Thank you. Cecilia Beatriz Ramirez Flores. Not present. Christian Vladimir Ramos Otero. Not present. Dalia Lilibet Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Dania Angélica Merlos Valle. Not present. Diana Patricia Escobar Melgar. Present. Thank you. Dora Lisa Rauda. Not present. Dustin Adier Guerra Maidar. Not present. Tengo también a Cecilia Beatriz Ramirez Flores. Same present. Okay. Ernesto Jose Medrano Zamora. Present. Stephanie Emilet Ayala Acosta. Not present. Fátima Karina Rodríguez Ábalos. Present. Fernando David Copland Marenco. Not present. Gabriela Saray Ortiz Ramírez. Not present. Giovanni Edgardo Ramírez Hernández. Not present. Hazel Francela Cruz Hill. Hazel. Not present. Inge Domitilia Hernández Aguilar. Not present. Jennifer Rachel Mendoza Acevedo. Not present. Jenny Yvette Alberto Martinez. Not present. Hermias Alexander Rivas Leiva. Not present. Jimmy Ernesto Navarrete Rosales. Not present. And Jose Byron Chavarria Sanchez. Not present. Okay, I got Hazel Franchella Cruz Hill. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Anybody else, guys? Alguien más? Alexa, Alexa. All right. So let's get it started with today's class. Sure. Oh. Yo acabo de ingresar. Oh. Alicia. Um, Dora Alicia Rauda. Sí, teacher, y solo una observación, fíjese que ahorita estoy en el, en el hospital, entonces voy a estar escuchando porque en algún momento no participo mucho porque estoy a, eh, en este trámite. Ok, enterado, muchas gracias por su compromiso. Gracias. Gracias mucho. Ok, guys, so let's get it started. Today we're going to work with what? What is today's topic? What is today's topic? Present to continue. Press and continue, guys. So, and if I have this, what is today's topic? Analyze this question. Analicen esa pregunta. Ustedes ya tendrían que poder determinar qué es. What is that? ¿Cuál es el tema de hoy? ¿Cuál es el tema de hoy? Ajá, ¿cuál es el tema de hoy? But if we analyze the structure, analizamos la estructura, ¿qué es esto? Is that a sentence or a question? Lisa, question. Okay. 
yes, no, or WH? WH. WH, WH question, that's right. So, what is today's topic? ¿Qué más pueden identificar ahí que ya vimos? ¿Qué es esto? Verb to be, okay. simply present. Verb to be. Verb to be, muy bien. WH question with verb to be. ¿Y qué más pueden identificar que ya cubrimos? Possessive. Possessive. Today's topic. El tema de hoy. Justamente fue el tema de ayer. Valga la redundancia. All right. So, this is something that I would recommend you to do. Es algo que les aconsejo que ya sepan hacer. Si ven una oración, traten de entender en qué es. Porque solo si sabemos cuándo usar cada estructura y la sabemos identificar, la vamos a poder ocupar adecuadamente. Ok. So, keep that in mind. Tomemos eso en cuenta. Now, let's get started, guys. Repeat after me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Class, you will become familiar. In this class, this class, class to, you will become familiar. You will become familiar with the weather seasons. The weather seasons. That's right. In this class, you will become familiar with the weather seasons. In this In class, class, you will, class will, become will become familiar with the weather seasons. Good. Volunteer, please. Hello, Dalia. Okay, la dos, pues. Brenda y Dalia. Go. Okay. In this class, you will yeah. become familiar with the become. weather seasons. Uh -huh. Dalia? <laughs> In this class, you will become familiar with the weather season. Okay, good. Thank you. And then finish, <laughs> Dalia. Yes. Uh, okay. In this class, you will become familiar with the weather season. With the weather seasons. Very good. Okay. Thanks to both. Let's go ahead and mute our microphones real quick. And we're going to talk about weather seasons. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons, and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, before we continue, let me ask you something, guys. How do you say invierno? Winter. Winter. Winter, correct. Summer. What is summer? Verano. 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 How do you say primavera? Spring. 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 How do you say Spring. otoño? Oh, oh, I, I don't know. Oh, fall. Yeah, you can say fall or, or autumn. you can say autumn. Correct. Now, why is this important? Real quick. How many seasons do we have in El Salvador? One. Two. Two. Two seasons. Correct. And what are the seasons we have? Summer and, summer and winter. Summer and, summer and winter. winter. Correct. All right, so repeat it after me, please. It's a spring in Brazil. It's, it's a spring, spring, in Brazil. spring in Brazil. Spring in Brazil. Spring in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Brazil. So spring is cuando prácticamente todo está floreciendo, right? Después del invierno. So repeat after me, please. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's, it's very, very sunny. sunny. How do you say como hace calor? It's hot. It's hot. It's, it's warm. warm. También está ahí como Too. que hace calor pero que no tanto. Look at the temperature here. We have 70 Fahrenheit. It's very sunny. 
soleado. Está muy soleado. Great. Vayan anotando, guys, que esto es rapidito, nada más mi vocabulario. It's summer in Korea. It's summer, It's in, summer Korea. in Korea. It's raining. It's raining. 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 It's hot and humid. It's, It's hot, hot and humid. humid. How do you say está lloviendo? Raining. It's raining. It's raining. Ah, lleva ahí en el miren, interesante. It is raining. It's raining. It's raining. Next one, it's winter in Russia. It's winter, winter in, Russia. in Russia. It's snowing. It's snowing. 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 It's very snowing. cold. Very, it's very, very, cold. Cold. very cold. Very cold. How do you say está nevando? It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. Ah, tiene miren. Ah, o sea que esa es una acción continua, le ponemos ING, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, good. Yes. What is the meaning of it's very cold? Está muy helado. Está muy helado, muy bien. It's fall in the US. It's fall in the US. It's cool. It's cool. It's, cool. it's cloudy and windy. It's cloudy and windy. Oh, yeah, windy. Uh -huh. What do you think is the meaning of it's cool? Es genial. Es frío. Ambos. Es genial y es frío, pero en diferentes contextos. Okay? Mm -hmm. Si yo les digo, oh, it's cold, it's cool today, es como que así está. Miren, look at the temperature here. La temperatura está baja, pero no tanto como cuando está cold. Right? Uh -huh. Es así como fresquito. Pero si yo le digo a alguien, hey, cool, cool tat. Qué chivo tu tatuaje. Ahí sí, es que cool. Right? Now, um, the order pretty much comes the same, guys. Fall es cuando se caen las hojas. Otoño. Otoño. Mm -hmm. Se están cayendo las hojas. Mm -hmm. Luego viene winter. Ok, por lo In menos en, la, en, en mi experiencia eso es lo que aprendí. Se caen las hojas porque viene la, el, el, el invierno. El invierno. Right? Cae nieve en los lugares que tiene que caer. ¿O no? Sí, Luego sí. viene el spring. Ajá. Uh ¿Cómo -huh. se caer? Fall. Fall. Uh -huh. Fall. Yo creo que por eso lo pusieron así: fall, porque se caen las hojas y los árboles quedan bien pelones. So remember, fall, winter. Fall, winter. Luego viene spring, que es cuando todo empieza a florecer. Right? Y después del spring viene el summer. Summer. Si este tema les interesa, guys, mm -hmm. averigüenlo. Hay cosas muy interesantes. Por ejemplo, creo que el 21 de diciembre mm -hmm. pasan de, de fall a winter en los estados, algo así. Y también sacan una marmotita, que es un animalito. El día de la marmota. Exacto. Entonces, a ver, y bueno, ese tipo de cosas son nada más cultura general. Que uno aquí no se da cuenta hasta que se expone a ello o alguien le cuenta. ¿Okay? Mm -hmm. Analícenlo, es bastante interesante. So, let's continue with the class, guys. I want you to repeat. It's snowing. It's okay? very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold. Which illustrates how this topic is used. Repeat, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. No, no. Oh, no. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? De aquí viene el Guatemala la yuca, por si querían saber. It's snowing and it's very cold. It's snowing. It's, snowing. No, it's, it's very, very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? Are you wearing, Are you wearing, you wearing your gloves? Your gloves? Your clothes? No, they're at home. No, no they, they, are, they are at home. home. They're at home. You link it. They, they're at home. They, no, they, they are, are at home. home. They are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. 
But my coat isn't warm. But my coat is not warm. Díganlo como ella, como que va a llorar. Come on, you gotta mirror everything. Mirror is a espejo. Si quieren ver todo eso, entonación y todo eso, copien como sale. And I'm not wearing boots. And, And I'm, I'm, I'm not, not wearing, wearing, wearing boots. boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Okay, 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 a taxi. Let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Thanks Julie. Julie. Great. So, guys, um, translation services. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, no. What is the meaning of this? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh -huh. oh, no. What's the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema? ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Cuál es el problema o qué pasa? Right? Very cold. Good. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. No, no, están en casa. ¿Quiénes? Well, you're wearing your coat. Abrigo. Ajá, estás usando tu abrigo. Es un jacket. But my coat isn't warm. Pero mi abrigo no es muy caliente. Ajá, no es cálido. Bien. And I'm not wearing boots. No, no, traigo, no tengo botas. Okay. Okay, let's take a taxi. Okay, tomemos okay, un, taxi. un taxi. Thanks, Julie. Gracias, Gracias, Julie. Great. Now, before we um, start, antes que empecemos, I want you to do this. Analyze this. Analyze this and analyze this. Bye, guys. This is algo que yo les digo todo el tiempo es estructura, estructura, estructura. You gotta identify structure. Antes que les ponga el video, quiero que me den la. Bien, es no, bien, es presente continuo. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it is. So tell me, what's this? To be. To be. Uh huh. To be. This. To be. Yes. Subject. 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 Verb. 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 Your gloves? Uh, Complement. 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 Ah, okay. So what is the structure for the question? To be to plus be plus subject verb uh -huh. uh -huh. I N G plus complement complement and plus question mark question mark let's analyze this one what is this um, you um, yes. subject verb to be verb to, to, to be verb to be Verb ing. Complement. Okay, so what is the structure for an affirmative sentence? Subject. Subject. Verb to be. Complement. B. Complement. Ing. Complement. 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 Now let's analyze the negative. What's this? Hi. Verb to be. Verb to be. Subject. Well, subject. 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 Verb to be. Verb to be. Not. Not. Plus not. Plus. Verb. Verb. I-N-G. Plus. Verb. Complement. Complement. So we have subject plus 
to be plus not verb ing okay good now the uh, recommendation that I'll give you is this one guys no sé si ustedes han visto las, las pelotitas que ocupan los niños, donde tienen que meter un triangulito, en otra tienen que meter una estrellita, en otra el cuadrito, y que si no, no cabe. Pues hagan esto. Muchas personas me dicen, teacher, a mí me cuesta mucho crear oraciones. Claro. Problema número uno, falta de vocabulario. Lack of vocabulary. Problema número dos, falta de estructura. ¿Alguna vez han jugado bachillerato stop? Yep. Pues hagan algo como eso. Aquí en este sujeto, solo pueden poner sujeto. Acá, solo pueden ir el to be, que va con el sujeto. Acá, solo un verbo en ing. Y lo van separando en, en columnas. ¿Ok? El último tip, porque lo vamos a hacer hoy bastante, es... No traten de salir con una oración completa de un solo. Simplemente, give me a subject, guys. Any subject. El primero que se le ponga a la mente. You. Este you. What is the to be for you? R. R. Verb. R. Verb. Play. Play. Plus Play. ing más el ing. Playing. 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 Playing what? Jugando qué? Playing what? Soccer. 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 Video games. La primera. Or, or video games. Good. Give me another subject. She. She. Uh huh. What is to be for she? she? Is. She. Give me a verb. Cooking. Cooking. Cooking what? Chicken. 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 Good. Give me another subject. This is negative. We. We. Are, uh, are, 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 are not. Are not. Verb. Any verb. Working. Working. Today. Okay. This is a question. Play. Give me a uh, auxiliary. To be. Any to be. Am um, is are, cualquiera. Is. Is. Are. Is. Give me a subject. He. He. Uh-huh. Verb ing. Work. Work. Working. Mm. Yeah, let's change it because we already use it. Eating. 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 Eating, Eating what? Eating what? Apple. An apple. Deme un complemento. Los complementos, guys, y aquí es donde muchos se traban, son sí, las sure. WH. No pueden decir dónde. ¿A qué hora? Con Ahí no dice apotiche. Ah, ok. Thank you. Ajá, give me a compliment. ¿Y si eres apple? En orange. En an orange, ok. Ahora, ¿quién en su sano juicio de pronto va a decir, él se, es, se está comiendo él una manzana y una naranja? No va a salir. Entonces, esta es la manera que la pueden hacer. Parece que es rapidísima. Pero créanme que les va a servir, ¿ok? Para analizar estructura y para salir con ejemplos que ustedes piensan que no van a sacar. Alrighty, guys. Let's go ahead and continue because we have a lot to do today. Any questions so far? No question. Alrighty. Let's do this then. Then let me finish the video and uh, we will continue. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation <clears throat> that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Say it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, by the end of, this, the end class, of this class, you will be able to form statements. You will be able to form statements using the present continuous. Using the present continuous. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. Frontier, please. Yo, Fatima Karina. Oh, Fatima Karina. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. Excellent, good job. Al finalizar esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de usar, de formar oraciones usando presente y continuo. All right, so let's pay attention to this video, guys. Lo que yo les expliqué en unos, en un minuto que ustedes de hecho identificaron viéndolo, se les va a explicar en este momento. Go for it. Hi, everyone. 
In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. Guys, when do we use present continuous? When do we use, cuando usamos el presente continuo? Cuando estamos haciendo una acción en el momento. Exactly. So, write it down. We use present continuous. We use dictado. Vamos a ver si se ponen las pilas acá. We use present continuous dictation. Write it down. Se lo digo que we, use... we use present continuous. Los que no tienen lapicero o cuaderno, es como en el baño sin papel. Uso. You need it. Lo necesitan. One more time. We use present continuous. To T O T O T talk about talk about talk about actions. actions. Si alguien no sabe cómo se letrea, pregúnteme. How do you spell it? Ya vimos eso. We use present continuous to talk about actions. Happening is WP. Double P, correct, Brenda. Happening at the moment of at NP. Yeah. Correct. At the moment of speaking. At the moment of Speaking of O O F as in Frank O F as in Frank F -O -F. okay Fox the moment of speaking okay there you go thank you now compare compare la con el chat we use present continuous mm -hmm. to talk about action me faltó la bajo me faltó el about, guys. Between talk and actions, viene about. about We use action. present continuous to talk about actions happening at the moment of speaking. Ocupamos presente continuo para hablar de acciones que están pasando en el momento que hablamos. ¿Ok? Está, está bueno eso del dictado. Ok, hay que ponerlo, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Right now. How do you say ahorita? Now. Right now. Inmediatamente. Ahorita mismo. All right. Let's continue with the video, guys. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of compliment. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be, plus the verb in its ing form, plus some compliment in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart with... Okay, this uh, that uh, Jose is mentioning, esto que está mencionando Jose, es que generalmente ustedes lo van a ver contraído. Creo que desde el principio del, del módulo les he dejado claro que la manera que se habla no es necesariamente como se escribe. Por 
por eso quiero acostumbrarlos a ustedes. Like in Spanish, voy a ir a la tienda, voy a ir a la tienda. Right? Igualito. Y no se escribe voy a ir, se escribe voy a ir. So, keep in mind, en inglés se contrae mucho, se eliminan muchos sonidos, se eliminan muchas letras, así que siempre con el oído fino. Without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. You are we have the subject, it's you, verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes. They're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that'll be, they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right-hand side. And and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. How do you say E? And. And, that's right. So with and, you're adding one more thing. Con and, está aquí chiquitito, están agregando algo. So how do you say, estoy comiendo pupusas y bebiendo chocolate? I am I'm eating pupusas and, 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 and drinking. And drinking. And drinking. Ah, okay, good. And drinking hot chocolate. Good. Now, si ustedes se fijan acá, las conjunciones generalmente lo que hacen es agregar. Add more information. Vamos a agregar más de información. Esto lo que está quitando es en I am. ¿Por qué? Porque ya lo tenemos. Es para evitar repetición. Yo estoy comiendo pupusas y yo estoy bebiendo chocolate. Simplemente le quitamos el I am. Uh -huh. Now, how do you say pero? But 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 but, 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 correct. Now, uh, give me an example with but. Siguiendo esto, following this. Yo estoy haciendo tal cosa, pero no estoy haciendo esta. O no estoy haciendo esta, pero sí estoy haciendo esta. Siempre tiene que ir positivo, negativo, negativo, positivo. Un balance. Go for I it. Am, I am, I am not dancing. I am not dancing. But, but algo que le pega I am listening to music yeah. listening to music very good so como ustedes se dieron cuenta usamos una negativa al principio yo no estoy bailando pero estoy escuchando mm -hmm. música quien me puede decir por qué aquí si le pusimos el I am porque está haciendo otra acción. Porque está haciendo otra, correcto. Y es como que dijéramos, no estoy bailando, pero escuchando música. No pega, ¿no? Le falta el estoy, que es el I am. Good job. Now give me the opposite, guys. Now, affirmative and then negative. I am listening to the class. I am listening to the class. The class, but I am not 
writing. Okay, muy bien. I am listening to the class, but I am not writing. Estoy escuchando la clase, pero no estoy escribiendo. Good job. Good. Let's continue with the video. It's, it's about to finish. Ya se las pongo en el chat. No worries. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends, and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. Alrighty guys, so we're going to start working right now. Vamos a estar trabajando con la estructura. Do you have any questions so far? No. No when question. Do use, when do we use present continuous? When we um, to talk about action happening at the moment at the speaking. That's right. So what is your I need a volunteer? Ana Silvia. Silvia. What's your family doing right now? They breathe. What's your family doing right now? Um, my sons are in class, are receiving class. Are receiving class. Uh, okay, good. Oh, my sons. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My husband is working. My husband is working. At his office. At his office. Uh -huh. um, only. <laughs> okay, great. Good job, good job. It's fine. Oh my God, debería estar almorzando. Pero come on. Estamos Practice. Okay. So what we're going to do right now. Vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. Y quiero que sean esta pregunta. ¿Qué está haciendo tu familia? Y traten de imaginarse qué está haciendo cada uno. Ok. Compártanlo. Esto es speaking. All right. Luego para pasar a las negativas. Um, tell me something. Good. You are not doing. We're going to answer this question. Tell me something good that you're not doing. Bueno, no es una pregunta. Dime algo bueno que no estás haciendo. Okay. So, for example, I am not doing exercise. I'm not doing exercise. No estoy haciendo ejercicio, lo tendría que hacer. Okay. Now, ask about. Ask about. Things. Happening. Bueno, vamos a empezar con esto, guys. Nada más. Con afirmativo y negativo. No nos vamos a meter a las preguntas todavía porque esa es la última actividad. All right, so go to the breakout rooms. Let's start. What is your family doing? And tell me something good that you're not doing. ¿Me entienden las dos? Actividades? All right, go for it. Uh, what is your family doing? ¿Qué está haciendo tu familia? Y mencionan qué creen ustedes que está haciendo su gente en estos momentos. Okay. Y um, la otra es... Tell me something good that you're not doing. Dime algo bueno que no estás haciendo. O sea, que deberían, pero no lo están haciendo. Go for it. Accept the invite. Any question, you can call.
All right, guys. What's the first question, teacher? The first question is... What's your family doing right now? Correct. Mm -hmm. Hello. My brother, your... my, mm -hmm. my brother is studying right now. Uh, my my father is is working and and my mom is is working as well good excellent uh -huh. now carlos you can ask rachel what is your family doing right now what is your family doing right now mm -hmm. rachel My dad works, but he didn't go to work today. My sister is doing some work, and my mom is cooking. Okay, um, good. Te escuchamos, pero bastante al fondo. What is the first one? Could you repeat the first one? Repite la pregunta, la primera. What's your family doing right now? Repeat the answer, Jenny. My dad works, but he didn't go to work today. Mi papá trabaja, pero hoy no fue al trabajo. Okay, qué galán, ahí se quedó. Vaya, pero acá, ¿tu papá trabaja como todos los días o tu papá está trabajando? No, está trabajando todos los días, pero hoy no fue. Ok, entonces, ¿cómo, cómo, de, ¿cómo decimos? Mi papá no está trabajando hoy. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ajá, porque eso justo, el ING es eso. El ando, trabajando, uh -huh. cantando, comiendo. Uh -huh. right. So, my dad, help. Ayudémonos entre todos. Mi papá no está trabajando ahorita. My father is not working now. My dad is not working today. Mm -hmm. My dad <laughs> is not working today. I I stand in the chat. Jennifer, my dad is not working today. Uh, my dad is not working today. Okay. There you go. All right, good. Are you interested? Now, Rachel, mm -hmm. you can you can ask Adriana or puedes arreglar las demás también. Let me check on another group. Good job. I am. I am no, not, uh -huh. is, is no, is no, is no, no porque is. el to be ya lo, ya lo usó que es el am. Ah, entonces sería I am, I am not uh -huh. eating. Eating. Uh -huh. eating. Uh -huh. eating. 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 Uh -huh. But the structure is perfect. Good. Eso me que se ayuden. Good job, girls. Continue. Thanks. Um, I am not reading and writing the class English. Okay. The English class? Uh huh. Uh, English class. Okay. They. Mm. I am not. Washing my clothes. Okay, my clothes. Ooh, because my I clothes. don't like wash. Oh. Okay, great. All right. Any questions so far, girls? ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Muy bien. Sigan mientras más ejemplos mejor. Se me acabaron los verbos. Ahí tienen el inter. Hay un montón. All right, go for it. Okay. Eh. I am in the I think I'm not good because right now they are alone in home. Alone in home. Casi no se le escucha, Perdón. I should be studying, but I am watching. Okay. Very no, good, very know. good, Jeremías, incluyendo should, debería estar escuchando, pero estoy viendo tele. Ah, de ahí viene esa bulla. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Continue, guys. Okay. Uh, 
Mami, yo voy a pagar un poquito. Ok. No, me está bien, te estaba molestando por el ejemplo que dije. Está bueno. I am, ah. I am. Ajá, ¿dora Alicia? I am repeat my... I am repeat my answer. Uh, right now, I am, uh, I am in the hospital. Uh -huh. I, I don't help my children. I think this is bad for me because they are alone in home right now. Uh, okay, they uh -huh. are. ¿Se acuerdan la película Mi Pobre Angelito? Se llama sí, sí. Home Alone. Y ahí home Alone. Decir, okay. They are home alone. They are all home alone. Home, yo are alone. Ok. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Y podría decir, Dora, para, la, para la, el contexto, I am not helping. Teacher. I am not helping. Uh -huh. Okay. O sea que para, para, para presente solo se le agrega el ING. Sí. Y para pasado. ED. Depende del verbo. Los irregulares ah. cambian, pero los regulares se les agrega ED. ED. ¿Y, y para futuro. Eh, se le pone will o going to. Pero esas son otras clases. Ahorita el verbo. Faltan muchas cosas que ver, pero ahorita solo quiero que hagan la base. Okay. All right. Okay, continue. Teacher. Continue. Continue. Uh, Andre. Hey, girls. How you doing? Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. All right. Show me what you're doing. Enseñame qué están haciendo. Mm. What is your family doing round now? Right. 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 Now. Mm -hmm. Bueno, yo eh, hice algunas oraciones. Eh, my son, hijo, sería con ese, ¿verdad? Yeah, my son. Un uh, poquito más fuerte, louder. Que casi no lo escucho. Ok, my son is studying. Nice, my son is studying. Studying. Good. Studying. Okay. Eh, my husband is working. Good. My dad is my dad drinking coffee. Good, drinking coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my mother uh, is resting, descansando. Creo que. Muy bien, very good. My mother is resting. Y cosas que no estoy realizando era la pregunta, verdad? Ya. Yeah. Antes que nos pasemos a eso, pregúntale a Ana Lidia. Quiero también escuchar a Ana Lidia en esa pregunta. What is your family doing right now? Ok, eh, Ana Lidia, eh, what is your family doing right now? Uh -huh. They are eating. Eating. Ellos están comiendo. Uh -huh. They are eating. Eating. Muy bien, la estructura está súper bien. Solo la pronuncia. They are eating. Bien, they are eating. Okay. Eating. Los metiste todos en un solo aguacal. Muy bien. Pero ahí también podías hablar de tu tío, de, de tu segundo tío por el, de parte de no sé quién, para más, más oraciones. All right. So, we have one minute. Muy bien. Uh, Ana Lidia. Ana Lidia. Negatives. Things that you are not doing okay. right now. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. So, go that you are now. Okay. Um, do not uh, spend time, time with my children. Muy bien. Sería, I am not. I am not. Uh -huh. Don't be sorry, it's fine. I am not spending time. Spending time. Muy bien, good job. Ana Lidia, tell me something you are not doing right now. I am not working on the plataforma. Oh, debería, mujer. Qué bárbara. Good example. Good, good, good example. <laughs> Great job. All right, let's go back to the main room, guys. 
Good job, Ana Lidia and, and Carolina. Right, guys, so we are back. And I have a couple of questions. Dalia and Hazel, háganse las preguntas, please. Ask yourselves. Hazel, what's your family doing right now? Okay, my mom is working at the office and my brother is doing his homework. Okay. Nice. Hazel, tell me something good you are not doing. Okay, I am not dancing right now. Nice. Okay, Good. thanks. And now, Hazel, you ask Dalia, please. Okay. What's your family doing right now? My son is speaking with your grandmother, and my husband is working in your office. Okay. Tell me something good that you are not doing. I'm not doing cooking my lunch. Okay. Doing cooking. Dos con ING. Doing. Solo uno. Uh, cooking. Okay. I'm not cooking my lunch. Nice. Uh -huh. All right. Good job. Good job, girls. Uh, lo único, Dalia, que sería en vez de your, porque ahí dijo que su esposo está trabajando en la oficina de Hazel. Uh -huh. Es que soy compañero, no, 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 quise decir en la oficina de él, en his, en... Correct, en his, his. muy bien. Ah, ok. Good job, Dalia. Y también okay. con la abuela de Hazel. Ah, en... In... With his uh -huh. grandmother. Good job. You see, guys, si ustedes practican, eso va a pasar. Y me acuerdo, y les aseguro que Dale se va a acordar que va a andar haciendo mi, mi, mi esposo en la oficina de Hazel, ¿no? Y ahí va a acordarse del hit, ¿ok? So, guys, um, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take the last attendance y luego les voy a decir la última actividad. So, let's take attendance real quick. Uh, so far, do you have any questions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de la estructura? No, I have questions. No? Ok. Ahorita digan que todo se le agrega ING. Más adelante se van a dar cuenta de las reglas de escritura. Pero primero reforzamos eso. Después nos metemos qué se le quita, qué se le pone con el ING. Um, Adriana María Santos Sardón. Present. Ailino Dali Martínez Monterrosa. No, present. Ana Lidia Hernández Pérez. Present. Ana Silvia Rodríguez. Ana Silvia. Present. Ok. Ana Victoria Ramírez de Reyes. No, present. Andrea Esmeralda Arevalo Campos. Present. Axa Eunice Martínez Parada. Axa. No, present. Estaba, pero ya no está. Brenda Michelle Mejía Serrano. Present. Carlos José Blanco de León. Present. Carolina Elizabeth Hernández Amaya. Present. Cecilia Beatriz Ramírez Flores. Present. Cristian Vladimir Ramos Otero. No, present. Dalia Lilibet Sánchez. Present. Dania Angélica Merlos Valle. No, present. Diana Patricia Escobar Melgar. Present. Dora Alicia Rauda. Present. Dustin Abdier Guerra Melgar. No, present. Ernesto José Medrano Zamora. Present. Estefanía Milet Ayala Acosta. No, present. Fátima Karina Rodríguez Ávalo. Present. Fernando David Copla Marenco. No, present. Gabriela Saraí Ortiz Ramírez. No, present. No, no. Giovanni Edgardo Ramírez Hernández. No, present. Hazel Francela Cruz Gil. Present. Inge Domitilia Hernández Aguilar. No, present. Jennifer Rachel Mendoza Acevedo. Jennifer, podría haber jurado que la vi, pero no, not present. Jenny Yvette Alberto Martínez, not present. Jeremías Alexander Rivas Leiva, present. Jimmy Ernesto Navarrete Rosales, 
Not present. Jose Byron Chavez de Sanchez. Not present. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to play charades. Charades are mimics. Charades are mimics. So ustedes van a hacer una acción y le van a... Pero no van a decir directamente bailando, sino que... This, for example. What is the action? Dancing. Dancing. Good. Que van a preguntar, are you dancing? Right? Are you dancing? Esto? Are you drinking? Are you drinking? Good. Yes, I am. Y así van contestando. But are you drinking what? Creo que voy a estar tomando café. Así. <laughs> right? Drinking. Right. Drinking a beer. Ooh. Are you drinking a beer? No, I'm not. Me siento mal y por eso no todo sobre mí. Okay. Go back to the breakout rooms, guys. Y hagan estas preguntas por los próximos cuatro minutos. Una y una. Are you? Y van a decir, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Go for it. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Carlos, did you get the invite? Uh, are you sleeping? Yes. <laughs> yes, what? Yes, I am. Yes, I am oh. sleeping. Go, Carlos. Uh, yeah. Are you eating? Yes, I am. Good job. Si se les acaban las ideas, está Google. Démosle. Go. Are you eating? Yes, Are I am. You? Ahora um, yo. Better. Are you cut your hair? Cut yes, or cutting? Yes, I am. Cut, me gustó la respuesta y casi casi todo está bien. Cut sí. or cutting. ¿Por qué decir? Cutting. Cutting. Good. Continue, continue, continue. Sí. <ríe> Otro. Uh, sí, ahora no. Quiero ver. Are you making out? Make out. Yes, I am. Me llegó la estructura, pero, pero el verbo sería putting on. Put on okay. makeup. Ese es el verbo que se ocupa para maquillaje. Put okay. on. So, put, are you put, put um, on makeup? Uh -huh. Putting put on. Um. Putting put on um. makeup. Putting put on makeup. Putting on makeup. Putting on makeup. Put on Así como está en el chat. Um, to put, put on, on makeup. makeup. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Ya voy, mi amor. Ya mismo, la nota. All right, continue. You still got 40 seconds. Todo sería, are you hooked on makeup? Putting on. Pero ahí no estamos hoy en eje. ¿Cómo no? En el put. Putting. Ajá. Ah, okay. Siempre, bueno, el, el on ya saben que es preposición, vea. Eso uh -huh. se llama un phrasal. How do you say maquillar? Eso, putting, I'm, I'm putting on makeup. Siempre sería así. Yep. On makeup. Yes. Ah, okay. Put on makeup. On makeup. All right, guys. So, I really hope you've liked it. Espero que les haya gustado. I really hope you have learned how to do it. Espero hayan aprendido cómo ocupar el present continuous. Practiquen, practiquen, practiquen. No se olviden de la plataforma, que hay unos que todavía van atrás. ¿Ok? Hacer el homework después de cada parte gramatical y terminar toda la unidad 4 para el día de mañana. ¿Ok? So, thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure. Alejandro Narbona.
get out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye